Recently a video has emerged from China, showing Z-10 attack helicopters from the People's Liberation Army Ground Force, launching what's reportedly a new type of missile during a live-fire exercise. The footage appeared online after screen grabs showing the new air-to-surface weapon were posted on social media. These first images originated from the state-owned China Central Television Channel and showed crews loading the missiles onto four-round racks on the Z-10's outboard stubbling hardpoints before they were launched at an undisclosed location. The missiles engaged a variety of armored vehicle targets, including tanks. The range at which these were knocked out is likely indicative of a fire-and-forget weapon, and the use of Z-10s in combination with at least one Z-19A suggests that the latter type may have provided targeting data using its mast-mounted millimeter-wave radar, forming a hunter-killer team. Interestingly, China military expert Andreas Ruprecht has suggested that the weapon may already have completed its development and is now in frontline use or, at least, is undergoing the final phase of pre-service trials. The anti-tank guided missile bears some resemblance to the China North Industries Corporation Norinco, Blue Arrow 21, or BA-21, a weapon that's thought to have a range of around 11 miles, and guidance based on a dual-mode millimeter-wave radar and semi-active laser seeker. Pakistan Army Aviation is also in a seat to replace older attack helicopters, and the Z-10ME is also one of the options currently available on the table for Pakistan. Currently, Pakistan Army Aviation operates nearly 400 fixed-wing and rotary-wing aircrafts, that includes Bell AH 1 FNS gunship, Augusta Westland AW 139, Eurocopter AS 550 Fennec, SA 330 Puma, etc. To replace the aging fleet of AH 1 FNS gunship and due to ever changing and evolving geostrategic requirements and operational demands, it's now almost clear that Pakistan Army Aviation has decided to acquire China Aircraft Industries Corporation Z-10ME attack helicopters. Z-10ME is the most advanced variant of the Z-10 attack helicopter. There are many changes are incorporated in Z-10ME from the standard Z-10 attack helicopters. Reports are that there are almost 300 upgrades that have been incorporated in Z-10ME, some significant ones are mentioned here. Air-to-ground missiles, fur and forget system, with Z-10ME has a range of 15 kilometers. Upward-facing engine exhausts to ensure lesser vulnerabilities to IR-based SAMs. Cockpit and engine protection has been increased through enhanced armor plating. The target acquisition system has been upgraded with enhanced optics with up to 20 kilometers for firing rockets and air-air missiles. Battlefield survivability has been enhanced by radar laser warning systems, linked with inbuilt jamming sweet EW and a chaff flare dispenser. Dust protectors have been installed to ensure engine health and life without any adverse effect on engine output and power. Software architecture is easy to upgrade and is being made compatible for network-centric operations with air defense and PAF assets. Z-10ME has a built-in interface to be used over the sea and amphibious operations. Helmet-mounted display is next generation and the previous helmet was deemed bulky and not pilot-friendly hence new helmet was developed for ME. Chinese assets are interoperable and can be linked with J-10C, other Chinese systems and naval assets. By adopting these measures, the performance of the Z-10ME gunship has been comprehensively upgraded and has surpassed that of the Indian Apache gunship. For example, its takeoff power to weight ratio is close to 0.4, while the Apache is less than 0.3. The higher the takeoff power to weight ratio, the better the high temperature plateau performance. In this way, the Z 10ME armed helicopter can still maintain full scale takeoff operations, which is difficult for Apache to do. In addition, the Z-10ME gunship missile has a longer range and stronger attack capability.